Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a, another video of really basic recording and how you get your, your Pro Tools all set up for recording. I did a video a while ago about this, but I feel like I can do one a little better and a little more simple. So let's get started. So first thing you should know about your interface, and if you haven't seen a video that I made about interfaces, I'd recommend you watch that. So after you get your interface, the absolute first thing to do is set up your drivers. You can always find the drivers on the, the company's website. Make sure you have the right drivers. So after you got the drivers, I'd recommend restarting the computer. And after you restart the computer, why don't you start up Pro Tools. And first thing I would check is to make sure that you're actually using the interface with the Pro Tools. So we're going into Setup and look at Playback Engine. So on the top here, we're going to see the different options that we have for audio interfaces. I only have one that I can pick from, so I'm not going to see a drop down box like some of you may have. So make sure that you're using the appropriate audio interface, and you're going to see that up here. So after you do that, you can just hit OK. And we're going to go into Setup again, and we're going to check the I.O. Now the I.O. is going to be what tells the computer what inputs and outputs are being uh, used on the interface and it kind of corresponds so the computer knows which input is what on the interface so after you change your audio interface in the playback engine these are most likely going to be wrong so the easy way to fix that is you hold down the alt key or if you're on a Mac you hold down the option key and you just click all of them and you hit delete path and it's going to ask you if you really really want to delete it and you hit yes delete and then you just hit default and it's going to be what um, what is appropriate for your audio interface if you have the driver set up right and you have the s correct audio interface selected in the playback engine uh, my, my setup is a little weird so you're going to see not connected here um, you should be seeing something corresponding to your specific audio interface so do that the same thing for the output you hold down the alt key select all of them delete all of them and then hit default and then also make sure that your audition path is going to be your main outs otherwise you're not going to hear anything so after you got that all set up you're going to want to make an audio track or if you're using something like a midi keyboard an instrument track and just keep it mono for now so what you're going to see is the inputs over here and the bottom one is going to be the outputs it's always ins over outs or if you're in Europe it's going to be outs over ins so we're going to be looking at interface we're not going to be looking at bus because buses are for internal routing and we are routing from an external device into Pro Tools so we're going to be looking at interface now this is going to look different for everybody else this is going to correspond to what your I.O. is so it's really simple you make sure you pick the appropriate input for what you're using so if you have a microphone plugged into input one on your in audio interface you're going to want to make sure you select input one in here so that way pro tools knows that you're looking at input one to record now if you're not seeing anything make sure you have the track armed which you can do right here or if you're on a HD setup you're gonna see a little eye right here and that's also gonna monitor your input but I'm not on HD so we're just gonna have to arm it now you're gonna have to now if you're still not seeing anything there's some other things you can check depending on your audio interface you may or may not have phantom power some audio interfaces can switch between mic and line signal input so you got to check to make sure that's all set up and I can't really tell you how to do that because every audio interface is a little different um, so make sure you have that all set up and also make sure you have the gain turned up on your audio interface the gain is just going to be your volume level for your input so after you do all that you should be able to see something over here and that's going to be a clear indication that you're getting a signal. 
So after you're all happy with that, you can hit the record button, which is up here, or you can hit 3 on the numpad. After that, you should be all good to go. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me through the comments or send me a message. Be happy to answer them and help you out. If you have any suggestions or requests for some other Pro Tools videos, I'd be happy to do those. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later.